A few months ago, over on our Sushi Codes channel, we played a bunch of game demos from the Steam Game Festival. One of our favorites is a game called Going Under. It's a satirical roguelite dungeon crawler where you are a new intern at a failing startup. Your first task is to clear out the joblins who have infested the basement, and off you go. Just about every object in the game can be used as a weapon, and there are power-ups galore. Every now and then, you'll happen upon an in-house coffee shop where you can purchase more boosts and power-ups. When we started tossing around the idea of making food from indie games, we knew we wanted to do something from going under, especially when we realized that it's coming out soon. In fact, it's out today. They have lots of fun foods in the game. Did I want to do a riff on avocado toast? Or do I want to try to recreate Fizzle, the sparkling meal replacement that is the main product of the startup you're working for? But the food item that really caught my eye and I haven't been able to stop thinking about since is the Joblin Spice Latte. Latte implies that it's a coffee drink, but the model that's used in the game looks a little more like a frappuccino a frozen blended coffee drink that's topped with whipped cream. It's got the slightest purple tint, which in my mind goes directly to ube. A frozen ube coffee drink? It sounds appropriately hipster to me. First things first, make your coffee. You can brew this however you'd like, but the Vietnamese thin coffee filter is the only one that I own, so that's how I am brewing my coffee. You can even make espresso if you'd like. You just need to make sure that it's strong. My body doesn't really love coffee, so I'm going with decaf, but you can caffeinate to your choosing. Once it's brewed, let your coffee cool completely and then put it in a blender. I wanted to complement the ube flavor, so I decided to go with coconut milk instead of dairy. We're using a full can's worth, so go ahead and add that to your blender as well. Next, your ube flavoring. I thought about using ube halaya, which is an ube jam that's very popular in Filipino desserts, but I wasn't able to acquire any in time. So instead, I'm going with this ube flavoring, which I love because it's really strongly ube, but it also has this vibrant purple color. I would recommend using this specific type of ube flavoring, as ube extract may not work quite the same. Since it's a Jalin spice latte, I wanted to add some sort of spice to it. I wasn't sure what sort of spice would work well with ube, because spices aren't used that much in Filipino desserts, but cinnamon ended up working quite well. We're going to add a little bit of brown sugar for sweetness to round out the flavors and complement the cinnamon. And then a bunch of ice. I have really large cubes, so I'm going with about four cups because they kind of chunk up in the cups. But if you have smaller cubes or if you are using crushed ice, you can probably get away with as little as two cups. Blend that all up until it's nice and frothy and then pour it into glasses. This recipe makes about enough for four 12 ounce glasses. Top with some whipped cream and if you'd like, you can also add some sprinkles for a bit of color. And enjoy! As I was making this, I took time to wonder, how'd you like my Jadlin Spice Latte from the game Going Under? It's tasting time, baby. Yes. It's going under time. It's going under time. We were really excited about this game. Yeah. Because as I mentioned, we got to play it in the Steam Game Festival, mm -hmm. play the demo. And uh, of the demos that we played, this is one of the ones that when, we were most looking forward to getting yeah. to play. Like, I, I, I want to go back and play it. Mm -hmm. It's a roguelike game. Mm -hmm. I still don't know what's the difference between roguelike and roguelite. I think this there's is a subtle light. light with a This is light, yes. Okay, well, whatever the difference <laughs> is, it's, it's similar enough. I'm not much of a, a roguelite. Or roguelike. Or roguelike. Rogue gamer. Anything. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not usually my game because when I play that, I those, die easily. Yeah, those kind of game when you die, you start over. It can get over, really frustrating. And it's like, oh no, I'm I'm on level. I'm, I'm on the next. Everything. I'm on three level, and I lost everything, and I have to start over. 
But this one is it's just really fun. It's really whimsical. Mm -hmm. It's really colorful. Mm -hmm. And I love that the, the the ability to just like grab any random stuff just on the ground. Pretty much and just every smack object in the game and just smack everything. Can be I'll a get weapon. Into a little car and drive around. <laughs> I love that. And, and the car explodes on you. And the car explodes. Like well, yeah, that was so many times i know he's like I why know. am i injured i know but yeah we were really excited because we reached out to them when they were talking about you know the promotion for the game and stuff and so we reached out being like hey we loved your demo mm -hmm. uh we'd also love to do a cooking thing for this how do you feel and uh, they sent us a key so yeah, yeah. they well, were down for shout it shout out to them giving us a key really so, yeah, appreciate I'm, I'm, it i'm looking forward to to keep playing it it's just it's just a fun it's game such a, it's i just everything about it and also also not just the imagery not just anything but the silicon valley yeah tech I mean, insider jokes is just so good because we're both from we're programmers yeah we're so we both kind of came that from that startup of... world and we've been a part of that world for a really long time. And so all of these jokes are just like... It's like, oh, I got that. I got that. Oh, yeah. Free coffee, free in-house uh, coffee place. Or all of the motivational posters. Yeah, all the... The slide. The, yeah. Just like all of the hipster <laughs> startup things. Every Pretty single much. hipster startup thing is Pretty in this game. This... And it cracks me up. I love it so much. Okay, but... Speaking of coffee shop. We've got the Joblin Spice Joblin, Latte. Yes. I like inventing things. I like just seeing something in a game and being like, so this is what I imagine that would taste like. I, I did not actually ask the developer, so I have no idea. Yeah. Hopefully, well, hopefully they approve. Hopefully they like this. And, uh, I'm sure they would. Hey, if, it, if, if COVID's ever over and we can see people again and they want to yeah. come visit or something. Yes, yes. I'll happily yes. make them I mean, it's, a Joblin Spice Latte. It's tasty. I'm really happy with it. When you're, okay, go ahead and drink, but... Before drinking it, it, look how it's whimsical like the game. It's, it's, it's so bright purple. purple. It's so purple. I know. It's just, oh, this is like kind it. of like the tropical hipster pumpkin spice latte, even though, wait, pumpkin spice latte is pretty hipster. <laughs> even more hipster. Even more hipster. You thought you were hipster? Not hipster enough. It's really refreshing. The ube is very, makes like it very interesting. We put a good bit of that ube flavoring in. Yeah. And so it's very ube, but like in a good way. Yeah, it, it makes it taste very tropical. Mm -hmm. The combination of the ube and the coconut milk. Yes, yes. I think that's where you're getting the tropical from. And the coffee is, you know how coffee can be a little bitter and strong, but I think the ube mm -hmm. and the coconut kind of round it out, round out that sharpness. Of yeah, the, when, when the, we were originally, because I tested this out a few times, to get like all the measurements right and make sure it actually tasted good yeah. and at first i was like oh i don't know the coffee is really overpowering like should i take out the coffee because it's also it makes the drink darker than it looks in the game mm -hmm. so i considered taking out the, the coffee and i was surprised because we're not really coffee drinkers like sun's not a coffee person and i love coffee but i can't drink it because my body just doesn't like it so i wear decaf but uh he was the one who was like, no, we got to keep the coffee in because it makes it hip, very hipster. Yeah. And it makes it taste like a Starbucks drink. Yes. And so we ended up keeping the coffee in, but it was very overpowering at the beginning. So we really ramped up the um, amount of ube flavoring and cinnamon that we put in. And I think all together at the end, it's just very... It's just... Joblin really spice. Yeah, it's just really good. It tastes like a, a fancy coffee shop. Mm hmm. Like, I I could see going to a coffee shop in, like, yeah, and ordering the Philippines or Vietnam or something and yeah. ordering something like this. The sprinkle. Are you just eating <laughs> the, the whipped cream? <laughs> the whipped cream and the sprinkle. Sugar. So good. Mm, so good. You know what I else? I really enjoy this. I'm going under right now. Me and my switch and going under and my drink. I'm going under, baby. Are you off to Australia? No. <laughs> oh, that's true. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, mate. Night. A huge thank you to the developers at AgroCrab and uh, the publishers at Team17 for the uh, code that they gave us so we could play Going Under. And if you want to check out the game, we're gonna have all of their information in the description below. So make sure to check it out. The game is out 
today. It's available on Steam and on Switch and I'm sure other platforms and I don't remember what they are, but it's a really fun game and you should absolutely check it out. As always, a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. If you want to become a supporter as well, you can go to patreon.com slash sushi day. If you're not yet sub to our channel, you can hit that sub button below and like this video because it does help our little channel grow. And if you want to see all the other videos that we've made, you can check out our playlists right over there. See you next time. I'm back, Allison. Good day, mate. He really did go under. Yeah. Bye.